all right guys good morning welcome back or to the channel it is currently about uh 1 a.m couldn't sleep and uh well something put it in my head that we're gonna go drive so uh let me see exactly what time it is it is 1 37 in the morning um so we're gonna go like i said for a little drive in the 300 and um I'll have a 6.0 update video for y'all next, but um, it's, been, it's been one of them weeks, so uh, we're going to get in the 300 here, we're going to go drive, and um, we're going to talk about the 300 a little bit with its new two-face setup. Alright, so one thing I don't like about this setup, and this road's absolutely terrible for this because they just paved it, but... I don't know if y'all can tell in the steering wheel. It seemed like I have to chase the car around um, per se because it wants to wander. So uh, that is one thing. And I'll I'll get on a better road here in a little bit, and uh, I'll have my filmer show that. But uh, this it's just kind of weird, nonetheless. And also, I guess my. Uh, decided that it wanted to reset itself or I might have hit it the other day um, so I need to reset that because it's it's actually like 2 a.m. Um, and this road is actually kind of busy for 2 a.m. Uh, but nonetheless um, like I said I'll get on a little bit better of a road here and show y'all I notice in the you know higher speeds it's a little more prominent filmer showing it pretty decently here um, it's like I have to chase the car around because it's very wandery so that's um I don't know I think we're gonna have to play with tire pressures and uh, see if we can get that down a little bit I think the tire shop set them a little high because they're very balloony uh, if you will so that's um like I said we'll have to play around with tire pressures see what we can figure out about that and um, whatnot, but anyway, if y'all can hear, the sway bar links are absolutely screaming. Um, it's the lovely streets down here, and uh, if you're noticing my steering wheel's crooked, yes, it is crooked. Um, last time this car got aligned, it come out of the alignment shop with the steering wheel crooked, so um, we'll have to get that corrected at some point, but I think at some point, I'm also going to change the front end setup on this car to uh, adjustable arms and all that kind of thing. That way we can set everything pretty much exactly where we want it. But nonetheless, um, I'm gonna drive around some, and this road is, I don't know why this, this road has never been this busy this late at night. But um, nonetheless, I'm gonna cruise around for a little bit and uh, I'll catch y'all in the morning or something and uh, well I guess later on in the morning and um, <laughs> we'll work on ending out this video but I didn't want to show y'all that I might actually stop up here somewhere at a park or something and uh, whatnot. there's a really nice road for taking pictures I might pull up in there and uh, film a little more but nonetheless that's a uh, one th complaint I do have with this thing with uh, the new setup it's very wandery which is very weird so anyway I'm going to uh, do some more driving here and uh, I will catch y'all here in just a bit alright y'all so it is now like 4 a.m. as you can actually see over there it's starting to, starting to brighten up um, and I actually have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow, so I'm going to put this in the garage, and, um, I'll catch y'all here in a few hours. I'm going to try to get some sleep, and, uh, we'll go over the 300 here a little bit more. All right, y'all. So, it is the next day, and, um, well, well, I say the next day. It's a few hours later. Um... <laughs> But nonetheless, I put the car back in here last night. Um, 
So, figured we'd talk a little more about this. So, if y'all remember, this car does have a little bit of camber. It's nothing insane. The 22s make it look wilder because they're concave. Um, and the spokes stick out further than the tire. But we do have just a little bit of camber on the front of this. Uh, but again, nothing super, super crazy. Um, but I do believe what's going to be next for this car is we're going to order adjustable arms um, for this thing. That way we can, we can dial it completely in. And then maybe we'll do a coilover or a airbag with an adjustable top hat. That way we have even more adjustment for everything. So I think we're gonna do that at some point. So uh, that is that. But nonetheless, like I said, it is a little, kind of a little squirrely feeling. So I'm gonna play with tire pressure on this thing. I'd already adjusted them just a little bit. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna play around with some tire pressures. I still need to get a clip for that, uh, but I'll do that at some point. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, we'll um, we'll play with tire pressures a little bit, and uh, we'll get this guy all dialed in. And in worst case scenario, we'll get some different tires for both sides. Uh, I know somebody is going to say, "Well, that's because you're running a 20 and a 22," but these are the same width tires. They're also the same height if you measure them and do the the whole calculation breakdown. Um, I don't have my other phone or I would show you all that, but they're both 28s, 28 inch tall tire, um, and they're both 255s. So I did the math on that before I ordered tires for those wheels. And like I said, they are dimensionally the same tire as far as height and width goes. So um you know before somebody comments that i've already thought about that uh, i actually thought about that before i ordered those tires and um they are the same size it's just the different wheel size so um that is that and then you know if we look at if we look at the two other tires that i had from this uh these are 275s like I said, these are 255s, um, but if we get one of these out here, roll it up next to the car, you can very easily see the <laughs> the height difference there. So uh, that's why I ordered the different tires in the first place, um, was because these are 26 and a half, and then like I said, 275, whatever that breaks down to in width. Um, but yes, I did think about that. Uh, they are the same size tire. Uh, I did the math on them and all that already. So again, we're gonna play with tire pressures. I don't know how much the, the tire shop put in these. So I do have I do not have my car key, but I do have my little last fit inflator in this. Also, that thing is super handy. If y'all want to check one of those out, um, there will be a discount code in the description. Because like I said, that thing is super, super handy. But I'll take it. We'll plug on to each one of these, see what kind of pressure these have in them. And we will um, make some adjustments because they are very very stiff so we'll uh we'll play with that and see i know the 22s have uh i believe it's 35 pounds of air in them so these definitely feel stiffer just pushing on the tire so we will um i'll go in here i'll grab my key and we'll we'll mess with these a little bit see if we can get this a little better uh, um because I also noticed when you get on the car, it's kind of, you know, feels kind of squirrely. So we're going to see if we can do that. Uh, get these a little bit better. But anyway, guys, I've been working on doing some uh, 
reorganizing, if you will. Um, a lot of this is about to go to storage, get it out of my way. But, and I actually think with these, I think I'm going to fix these. I'm going to powder them. Um, and I'm going to put them on a truck. I think I might buy a truck for this or get a bigger tire and we'll put these on the white truck. Get a different adapter. And like I said, we might throw these on the white truck just for the just for the fun of it. Uh, but we'll see about those. Uh, I've been watching Copart for another truck. So if I can find like a cat eye or something, that'd be cool. Throw these on there. Uh, reverse level it. Throw some streets on these and be mint. But nonetheless, uh, like I said, I'm going to play with tire pressures on this. And then the next video, like I said, y'all will see the 6.0. We're doing an update. Also, I'm going to take these to recycling. Um, yeah, we'll take those to recycling later. But that is that with this. So um, I also am going to polish the car finally. Um, now, the thing is absolutely filthy. But um, I am going to polish this at some point coming up. And um, I also need to figure out what side I want black wheels and what side I want chrome. And then we're going to wrap the trim to match uh, the black side. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, maybe you found it helpful. Please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.